Howdy folks, welcome to another let's play of RimWorld. You might be wondering what happened to the other one. Um, the game file after my live stream got corrupted. I don't know what happened, but I tried everything to go back into the autosaves that it had, and it would not let me get in. So, I said screw it, and we're just going to start off. Um, we've got three guys here, or three, three women, actually. I just realized they're all women. We've got, uh... Isolda, Isolda, wow, that's an interesting name, she is uh, 16, she's only a keyboard tender, she's only got one backstory due to the fact that I think after, I think it's after age 20 you get the second one, um, I, like I said like the last one, I didn't go through and mid-max everything, I just went through and make sure they're not incapable of like, you know, hauling or intellectual, stuff like that, I mean, so, not only thing, we got really lucky on a couple great, um, Shooters. And does anybody actually have enough? Is it animals? Yeah, cause he's, we're not going to be able to tame this guy for a while. It's, oh, we might be able to. Uh, anyways, so we're going to go ahead and start off here. We're playing in a boreal forest. Um, our growing period is from the 6th to 6th of winter, I believe. Uh, we're still on patch one or 16. Uh, patch 17 is actually just around the corner. I'm uh, kind of looking forward to it. It it's it sounds like it's gonna be a great patch. Uh, they're they're doing they're adding a lot of stuff in. It sounds like uh, it's not gonna be as enormous as this patch with you know the world or whatever and all the fa different factions and showing them all. But um, it's still gonna be pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead here and equip. Uh, who do I want hunting? You have a burning passion for it. Uh, the double the. The, the double fire here means burning passion, and then the normal one is just a passion. And then, of course, nothing is just normal. So we'll go ahead and give you the, and then give you the pistol. Hercules. I like that name. That's a good one. Uh, we'll go ahead and maybe, we'll most likely move our stuff down here. But we're going to go ahead and use one of our mods right now. And unforbid everything. It literally just makes the beginning so much easier. So that you don't have, as I say, you have a... A package up here in the corner whatever you didn't do one of these animals comes over and eats it it, it just it helps out in the very beginning um some elk right here yeah I think we're just gonna go ahead and make this our base down here we got a nice little area already done we're gonna have to go ahead and move those out of there actually but that's fine so we'll go ahead and build the wall there finish up that we don't really need to um trying or triangle but uh, actually, we're going to go ahead and unpause here and let them start hauling. Everybody does have hauling on, correct? So, they should start hauling stuff over here. What are you two doing? Hauling marble chunk, hauling marble chunk. Eh, whatever. It needs to be done. But, anyways. So, as I was saying, this, this right here would technically be indoors. I don't know if it leaks a little bit more due to the fact that you know it's you know on or that it's you know technically a hole but um I it never ever shows that so it might not be it might honestly be a legit thing actually this time we can start off with just no bits honestly uh, I just realized this is gonna suck kinda and when I say it's gonna suck it's it's gonna suck because they're gonna wake each other up walking back and forth through here but anyways so we got Hercules here we're gonna have to eventually tame him out to um haul so let's go through the people we've got NG she's an engineer um, she was a foundry apprentice and then she in her adulthood she's a combat engineer she's aesthetic which means she doesn't really care for uh, an impressive bedroom which is beautiful she'll be completely utterly complacent with this she's a careful shooter which is why we, we don't really want to give her the pistol the, the sniper rifle now the sniper rifle itself is a horrible fighting weapon um, it takes a long time to shoot as it is its only real advantage is its distance so um, the best weapon in the game right now is the charge rifle I don't know if they'll change that and the worst game the worst one in the gun uh, the game Worst gun in the game is um, the uh, machine gun. I think it is the um, it's basically a Gatling gun, and uh, 
yeah. So, anyways, back to uh, Amelia. She is uh, also a fast walker. That is a beautiful trait. Um, they move a little bit faster. Not a whole lot faster, but it's still. I mean, look at that. Look how much faster she's moving than. Actually, I think Luma might. No, she's not. So. That's uh, that's Engine. And then uh, we kind of touched up on um, the 16 year old uh, Rubio. I don't know how to pronounce that first name. <laughs> she actually doesn't have a nickname. Interesting. I guess you get that as well when you're. When you hit adulthood. She's a uh, psychically dull, which means that the psychic drones that you've seen in the other game are 50% less um, effective on her. So if we get a all-female, oh, psychic drone, woo, almost making mess here. Uh, a, an all-female psychic drone, she isn't going to be as effective. Let's say it's a, you know, a medium one, it's 15, she'll only get, I think it's a 7 or an 8. Now, uh, lazy kind of sucks. She, her global work speed is going to be a little bit less. But she's got a decent amount of passion for some stuff. She's great at growing. She most likely will be our grower. Speaking of which, we're going to go ahead and set this up right now due to the fact that our growing period. And what is the fertility? That's yeah, 100%. So we'll go ahead and assign this. Oh, uh, We'll just do some potato for now. Uh, we'll most likely start. We'll actually most likely move it down here. Ooh, we got some buffalo. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Piece of candy. But, um, we're going to turn this, yeah, on for you. So, anyways. Um, yeah, her growing is awesome. She only needs to go up one more. Actually, not even one. Almost about half. And she'll be able to start plant, we'll be able to plant, um, heel root, which is amazing. We won't have to just rely on that. All right, Lumen. Lumini Lumen LeBlanc uh, is a caravan kid. She traveled around a lot. She was a bounty hunter after that. That's awesome. Which I guess it portrays, you know, her shooting in melee. She's pretty decent at social. Is anybody better than her? No. She, uh, whoa, what the heck? Oh, it's melee. She's a hard worker, which is great, and she's iron willed. That's another one that's amazing trait. We got really lucky with some of these roles. Um, not a whole lot of burning or passion for any of the actual stuff that you do. She's a horrible doctor. And that's one thing we didn't really get is a good, a good doctor. Uh, again, the uh, the sixteen year olds got the best doctoring. That's a little creepy. Oh, it's links. We might have to deal with that here pretty soon. Um, the little arrows you're seeing here are my quality. Uh, it's my quality mod. The uh, the best builder here, who is actually who is my best builder? Construct is uh, Engine. Um, she's the only one who will actually be able to finish these. So we're going to go ahead and set this up right now. Oh my god. Misclicking all over the place. And I guess we'll set her up for that. I want everybody to be able to flick when I tell them to. We'll turn off wardening and negotiating. Um, what's up is it too? And Lumen is our best hunter. Or she's the one that has the hunting rifle. So I think we're gonna let her hunt and turn this off for her. We'll make Engine our, whew, excuse me, our cook, along with our constructor. We'll go ahead and turn on this for them, and set you as our grower. Uh, when I flag something to be plant or to be cut, I want it to be cut. So we'll go ahead and put those as one. We don't have any crafting. We have no tailoring, art, or smithing right now. Uh, they'll do a hauling for now. It looks like... Uh, man. Uh, see, that's the problem with... That's, that's going to be the problem with the uh, Rubio here. I'm going I'm to give her a nickname because this is bugging me. Um, we'll go with Ruby. Um, Ruby here is uh, really useful. Being, you know, growing, uh, mining, hauling, cleaning, research. And being a good researcher... Oh, and being our best doctor later on down the road we're gonna have a problem dictating as to what should take precedence over what that's that's pretty funny to look at you don't usually see just pure steel so we'll have to figure that out when we hit that right now we're gonna go ahead and build out uh, I think we're gonna build out this way actually so we're gonna go down about here yeah, that works. 
And then honestly, actually, I think once we get that done, I think we'll deconstruct this and deconstruct this. Right? I need to claim this because if I don't claim this, then let's say this gets damaged, they won't actually go and try to repair it. So we're gonna go ahead and go to zone. Oh, it's not zone. It's order, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. Claim. We're gonna go ahead and claim that. Um, can you actually be trained? You can be trained. Awesome. So, Lumen, you will be able to train him up. Go ahead and cut that. All right, we're gonna fast forward here. Or start to fast forward, and then we're gonna flag some trees to be cut. Uh, we need some doors to be able to get inside here. No, we probably don't want it right there since it's already been built. It's unfortunate, but we'll put it right here in one here. Uh, 13 by 13, like this, and then you know, going up, of course, 13 is as big as you can make it without having to have an interior wall, so you can have it roofed. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, better go be going to sleep. Did anybody get woken up? No. And then aesthetic has awful bedroom. Yeah, the the <laughs> the worse her bedroom is, I think the better the mood lit. So honestly, we should have probably forced her to be in one of these. Yeah, she didn't even get woken up by that. That's awesome. And then once we get rid of these ones, these walls right here, that'll be fine because this actually qualifies as their own separate rooms, even if they have to walk through here. Once the door opens, it actually qualifies as, you know, this room open, this room, and this room open. But it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, we're actually going to delete this stockpile and, or dumping pile, I mean, and move it over to here. Oops. Um, actually, no, I don't want you moving these ones because I don't care for them. They're not in the way. All right. Um, I guess we can go ahead and flag this to be deconstructed. Where is it deconstructed? Cool. There it is. Go ahead and deconstruct that. Get some extra resources. And before I forget, we're gonna go ahead and set up a. Table. Do I want dining table, dining chairs, or stools? Stools take less, but they're not as pretty as the chairs. I think we're just gonna go with stools for now. It's not the end of the world. We got plenty of wood lying around, but I rather, I rather have just that for now. We're also gonna go ahead and tell them to harvest anything that's in here because this is all gonna die in here, all of it. And then we're gonna tell them to cut what's not been flagged. That way we get the wood and it doesn't just rot away, basically. And then we are going to move our zone for our food right here. We're going to take off food. Put clear all, just, oh, not rotten. Food, and we're going to make this critical. So now when they're done, they'll all... The who's ever hauling will take the food and put it in here. Actually, I think we're going to do the medicine, but we can also just take this and go like that for now. All right. Um, well, we need a research table. Right. Production. Where's our research table? There it is. Um, yeah, I'm okay with this. All right, we got the potatoes going. That's way more than we need for now. All right. And we'll actually put in a normal chair here. And we will start rushing towards um, turrets. Um, oh, that's one thing I didn't tell you guys. I'm sorry, actually. Uh, I am playing on extreme difficulty. We're playing on the normal, uh, just the normal person, uh, Cassandra Classic. But we're uh, we are on extreme difficulty. Random, random. It, apparently, on rough is boring. I mean, we what lost one person there due to a double illness. Kind of sucks, but I mean. 
it is what it is, I guess. Alright, go ahead and harvest that, actually. Okay, or don't select it. There we go. Um, Alright, let's start getting a power situation up. Um, We're going to go with one of my favorite setups. Oh, oh, there it is. I was like, I don't have wind turbines, but I do. And we're going to build the wind turbines far in as we can. Build that one there, that one there, and that. And then we're also going to tell it, or tell them, to chop the wood from right here. Ooh, got our first visitors. And it looks like they actually have some stuff to sell. Uh, grew from the Hisasna Alliance are visiting the colony. They seem to have a few things to trade. Okay. Welcome. All right, and we will go ahead and this is gonna be a little ridiculous to put the battery way over here, but batteries are so ugly. We'll go ahead and bring this down to here and do that. We'll go ahead and put the battery under the roof for now. Again, this is not gonna be my permanent stockpile, but the batteries need to be under a roof or during a rainstorm they'll fry. All right, who's our best talking? Or Four, three, and four, it doesn't matter. Uh, you are blocked by the birch, you're blocked by this. Um, in fact, we're just gonna go over here, take flooring. Oh, cool. Ruby thinks that you should give your faction a name. Uh, our faction is gonna be Called you tube, not, not tub tube. I was with the first time. We're gonna have a YouTube, and then we're going to call the 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 community. Um, crap. What are we gonna call it? I I guess um. Crap, I can't think of a name, I'm drawing a blank. Uh, we'll just go with something simple, you know, extreme. I spelled extreme wrong. Uh, we'll just go with, there we go. Not spend too much time on that, sorry about that. Oh, we've got, oh crap, we got a links. Okay, um, we're going to go ahead and draft, where are you? Oh, wait, Felix is inside? Oh, it's right there. Go ahead and un- Ooh, nice shots. Dang, she's three for three. Oh. Nice. All right, we'll go ahead and flag that as that as a hunt. All right, and then Ruby, when she's done with what she's doing here, actually, we're gonna undo you so you get over here and fix her. Uh, let's get a butcher's table up here. Um, we're gonna set this outside. It's gonna give us, oh, there's a wolf here now. Okay, we've gotta deal with that. That's, um, who's the one with the pet? You don't need to come out here. Okay. Cannot let that sit around the town for now. Okay. Well, unfortunately, Lumen is our best constructor. Oh, wait. No, no, she's not. And Jean is. That's right. That's fine. Oh, you put too much. No, you do not. That's fine. Oh god, OCD is going to kick in now. Go ahead and do that. This is right here. This is going to be um, slowed down due to the fact that it's outside. And during the winter, it's going to be a little bit slower. But it's not really a project that takes too long. And it's not really up all the time. Who went crazy? Local hair went crazy, huh? 
Uh, look at the pistol. Come over here. Go ahead and unpause it. Wow, nice shot. Beautiful. All right, so she'll finish up doing this eventually. There we go. Cool. All right, so our battery's not up yet. Why is it not up? And there we go. Cool. All right, we're going to go ahead and put in some miscellaneous. Where is it? Lighting, lighting. Lighting. We're going to put in a standing lamp here. Ruby. Talk to them. See what they got here. Um, medicine. This is their side. This is what they have on them. This is what we have. They're not willing to, to trade for it for any of this stuff right here. And this is our currency. Um, when it comes to the people who are on the ground, anything in your immediate vicinity, I think actually might be in your stockpile, is sellable. Um, the people who are in the air, if you're not within the range of a trade beacon, you can't actually sell it. And especially the same thing with your money, if you don't have any money within the trade beacon, which in this case is silver, um, you won't be able to buy anything. You can still sell stuff, you just won't be able to buy anything, unless of course you know you do this and then buy something with the currency that you just got, like a trading thing almost. We're going to go ahead and buy your medicine, it's a decent price, honestly. Uh, we don't really need to buy your components if you don't have anything else. Alright, that's good. Uh, we are putting the hospitality mod, so we can go ahead and make rooms for them and allow them to buy items themselves or entertain them, or we can even try to recruit them. Um, you got here down here is, is this hospitality thing going up and down. Um, it's easier to recruit when it comes over here. There's, we've got one friend it looks like, I guess, enough friends to recruit. Yeah, it looks like we could easily, easily recruit this person. Do we? Do we want to recruit any of these people? A little angry the faction. But wow. Wow. Yeah, Pyromaniac, you're greedy, so you're going to want a great, impressive bedroom, which, I mean, granted, we can do. It's not that bad. You are actually really good. A nudist, that's funny. The nudist that's a prosophobe. Doesn't like pro. Um. Oh, it's the other way around. It's the one who wants to go. Okay. So he'll have a negative moolet constantly. I th I think we try to get this guy. This guy's got amazing construction and medicine. And that'll free up uh, Ruby a little bit too. And eventually we'll have another great constructor. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're definitely going to attempt to recruit. Lumen. No, we can't talk to him. Lumen's going to maybe go to bed? Oh, which is hard to steal. Wait for them to get up really quick and then we'll force her to go and talk to them. Actually, who is our best talker? I think it doesn't matter. I think it's... We'll actually mark them. Yeah, it's Ruby and Lumen. That's not what I wanted to do. Not assigned to negotiation. We'll go ahead and turn that on so that I can force it. We're going to let you finish your meal up since you're almost done. And then go ahead and try to recruit him. Her. Oh, yes. There we go. Um, of course, yeah, we, we angered the chief. Well, we got a uh, got a new recruit. I have had a feeling that would be nice and simple. Perfect. That is actually really easy. Like That's what I mean. In the old days, before the that, that mod came out and, you know, all the, the guests were coming in, you had to either get them during raids or there was random times when people would just walk through, you know, your entire ra r world. And you'd have to go over there and try to capture them. So we're going to go ahead here and set up another bed. And we're going to set this. Actually, she should be completely fine to make it a decent side bed, actually. We're going to go ahead and deconstruct this. Set up a door here. Here. And then we're going to go ahead and expand wall here and here and then we're gonna move this door up oops all right ruby is hard at work and then, all right let's go ahead and reconfigure 
this. Doctor, that is awesome. We'll go ahead and turn it to two. That way, just in case somebody gets hurt, we used to have somebody who's a doctor. Turn your flick on. Not very good at that, but you are great at taming, actually. We'll go ahead and turn you on a two. Turn that is a one, that is a one, that is a one. We'll turn these off. And actually, we're going to turn these to two. We're going to turn these off for you. Um, whoops. Actually, we're turning to the fours. Just in case, you know, there's no research and the, you know, the unlikelihood that I forget to just, you know, put one. All right, let's go ahead, and before our first crop here, it's about halfway done, we're going to go ahead and seal off this entire section. This is going to be our refrigerator. It's massive. It's going to take at least two things to do here. So we're going to go ahead and set up the... Um, what this does right here is helps um, the, 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 the big room there to be, stay cool. When they walk through, a little bit of the cold leaks... So, if you do this, it only leaks into this little area right here. And instead of leaking all the way out here, it only leaks here. And this gets really cold, but it stays somewhat near this temperature so it doesn't jump. It makes it a lot easier on uh, the temperature. So, go ahead and place two for now. Yeah. That's fine. It's 60 degrees out. It's fine. And, unfortunately, I don't think... Yeah. I'll... Oh, wait. We have a butcher table right here. Butcher creature. Go ahead and butcher them really quick before they rot away. You should take that down to here. Yep. Oh, right. I didn't make it as forever. Do forever. There we go. Alright. Um, whoa. Oh my god, we're out of food. Oh, we got five. Okay. I'm over here looking for it. All right, let's go ahead and set up the fuel stove. Oh, we gotta move this too. Move that in there. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that and deconstruct that. We're actually gonna deconstruct this wall here, this wall, and these two walls because OCD. Okay. That should all be taken care of. And once this is finished here, we'll set up the crafting for making meals. Quick, simple meal. No. Uh, Alyssa from the Mosquito Men was wondering nearby and noticed you could use some help. She would like to join your colony for a while. She is in an illegal shipwright and her traits are chemical interest and psychically dull. Hmm. Wow, we're just going to have an all female group, aren't we? You know what? I'm going to go ahead and make a cut here. And... <sighs> no, because I won't be able to save right now. So we'll just go ahead and answer this right now. I think... Oh... Ah, why not? Alyssa, what can you do? Wow. Actually, incapable of nothing. Wow, we got, we're getting really lucky with some of these people. Wow. That's awesome. All right. Let's go ahead and set this up. Oh, not do forever. I'm going to go ahead and set you up to 60. Go down. When you go to 630. So it's going to try to keep it in the threshold. This is another one of those um, mods that I have. Um, is I think it's called the Prepare Carefully mod or something. But um, what it does is it allows me to, um, it just gets rid of some of the micromanaging. You no longer, you don't have to come in here and you don't have to hit select, you don't have to hit suspend when you don't want them to cook anymore. It'll automatically do that for you. It'll try to keep it between 30 and 60 food. So currently we only have one simple meal. So it's, it, it, it just takes away some of the monotony of the game. All right, so our... Refrigerator is done. We're gonna go ahead and drop these down to 16 is fine. So this should go down, and then these will start being frozen instead of you know spoiling. We're actually gonna drop it down to negative two. Get it to go down faster, and then we'll raise it back up later. So but now we need another bed. All right. Um. 
Yeah, actually, I kind of like that idea. We're going to go ahead and do this. Boom. Hey, I can't, actually, I kind of like, yeah. yeah. Kind of a cool idea. So, we'll go ahead and do that, and, um... Oh, that's right, Alyssa's a great constructor. I forgot about that. And a decent hunter, but we don't really care about the hunting while well, we got a lot of passion for, um, ooh, you got a burning passion for that. We'll go ahead and turn that off, and then we're going to turn off, uh, Ruby. Eh, I lied. We're going to turn her into four. So that I can, you know, force her to do it. Why did Alyssa just take, uh, whatever. Nagman's got a bed. Go in there. I just realized we forgot to set up the puppy's bed. I have no clue where um, our warg ended up getting off to. Where are you? You are way, way over here. <laughs> okay. He's just off meandering around doing warg stuff, I guess. So, we're going to go ahead and make a cut here. Um, thank you very much. I think in the next the next episode we're gonna go ahead and try to set up a better growing area this is not gonna be enough to make it through the winter we're gonna have to fix our supply of food um, we're in the summer right now so I think come what is our growing period yeah we've only got one more season to do it so we got another what's that 21 days 21 days to get that situated um, once we get that situated then we'll be fine for the winter um, other than that, we're we're looking pretty good. We got a nice power situation. We got five people now. We got amazing people. Honestly, we got super lucky with the people that we got. But all right, well, we're gonna go ahead. Like I said, we're gonna make a cut here. And you have yourself a wonderful day. And thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe below, and don't forget to smile.